California Highway Patrol officer is behind bars two years after admitting to shooting and killing her husband. Tamika Johnson allegedly told investigators she shot her husband after he became abusive. But today, the district attorney charged her with murder. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter is live in Compton. She's spoken with friends and family. Leanne. Mark, the DA's office isn't saying what turned the case, but nearly two years after that shooting investigation began right here in this Compton neighborhood, that CHP officer is behind bars charged with murdering her husband. A heartfelt hug for a young son celebrating justice for his slain father. Um, I was very happy about this. It took a long time to get it, but we got it through it. So I'm very happy about this. 32-year-old Marcus Lemons was shot and killed by his wife, Tamika Johnson, a CHP officer, in February of 2009. Almost two years after the deadly shooting in the couple's car, Johnson has been arrested and charged with murder. I think that justice is now going to be served. Investigators say Johnson shot her husband in the head in their car, then drove to her parents' home in Compton before calling police. The 31-year-old told sheriffs, investigators, and friends that it was domestic violence, that her husband had become abusive. All she did was protect herself, if anything, you know, if anything, all she did was protect herself. Friends of the victim say he was never a violent man. The stories I heard of what she was doing and the, during their marriage, you know, I was kind of concerned, but he said he was all right with it. He had it under control, and that night he didn't. So I'm feel pretty good about her being arrested. The CHP released a statement saying, quote, these are serious allegations and are being treated accordingly by CHP management. The department will not tolerate actions by any of its employees that violate the public trust and bring discredit to the organization. Officer Johnson worked out of the West L.A. office since the shooting. She had been in a non-enforcement administrative position. Today, though, she was placed on administrative leave without pay. She remains behind bars on $2 million bail. Live in Compton, Lee Suter, ABC7 Eyewitness News.